Kobe. In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how I built this home decor basketball hoop out of an old rim and some two by four pieces of wood. Now, full disclosure, you might already know that I am a trash picker, so everything here, minus a few bolts, nuts, and washers, was found on the curb during my normal trash route. If you want to follow this method, you can use any old rim and some lumber, and it should turn out okay. The tub of basketball hoop parts was missing a few pieces, but I really don't know why they threw the rest away. I'm guessing they bought the whole kit and only needed the backboard. The lumber was probably used as a temporary support for a project because most of them had some nails coming through. There really wasn't a method to this DIY project. I just started cutting pieces until it looked like the right size. But if you really want to know, the length of each piece was about 48 inches or so, and I used 8 pieces to make up the whole backboard. I was not aiming for it to be perfect, I just wanted for it to look a bit rustic and a little bit chic. Once I had all 8 pieces cut, I attached them together with two 2x4s on the backside. These are 3.5 inch wood deck screws that I swear are the best in the world. Once again, this was not perfect, but it worked for me. I will admit this was starting to get a little heavy, so feel free to use lighter weight wood if you decide to do it. After this, I lightly sanded it down with some 100 grit sandpaper and removed any rough edges. I didn't want to make it too smooth as I still wanted it to look a little rugged. I wanted to add a border, but I didn't have enough wood and it was also getting pretty heavy. The stain I used was a mist tinted stain I bought at Home Depot for a few other projects, so technically I already had that available. The color is a mix between dark gray, blue, and black. Next, I spray painted the rim black with some paint I had in my shed from another project. Before I get to installing the rim, I want to show you how I planned on mounting the whole backboard. I used what's called a French cleat. I use this mounting method for anything heavy. What you do is you cut a piece of wood at a 45 degree angle the whole way through. One piece is attached to the backboard and the other is attached to the wall. Then you just mount it. Voila! I will show you that part here in a minute. The next part of the project is the only step where I had to spend some money. I spent $4 on hardware. The bolts were 2.5 inches long and 3 8 inch in diameter. You can actually attach the rim directly to the wood without using the backer plate and the breakaway spring. You just need bigger washers. Since I had the whole kit, I might as well use it. I centered the plate, drilled holes all the way through the wood, and attached the rim. I then attached the net and just like that, the project was complete. The only thing left to do was mount it on the wall. I attached the other piece of the French cleat mechanism to the wall directly to the 2x4 studs behind my wall. Then I just simply placed the backboard on top. And that's it. It weighs about 40 pounds and with me hanging on it, it was about 200 total. So I would say it's pretty safe that this thing is not going anywhere. My wife is going to love the fact that I updated our wedding photo wall with this backboard. Toodaloo.